Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco. Today, two games for you. The local derby-ish kind of thing against Nottingham Forest. I say local derby. Uh, it's not really. It's kind of local for me, though, because I literally live about five seconds away from the, the Forest ground. And then we're also going to be against Bristol City at home. So two big games for us today. Both opposite ends of the table. Nottingham Forest sitting down in 18th or so. Bristol City sitting in uh, third, you can see there. So that's all right. Let's take you through what's happened since you were last here then. Uh, as you can see, it's been pretty good to be fair. You were last here and we beat Oldham 1-0 and Coventry 6-3. Since then, two cup games, a 3-0 win over Morecambe in the FA Cup second round, uh, followed by a 2-0 loss to Scunthorpe in the Checker Trade Trophy. We played a full-strength side, we just didn't really win. Which at this point, I was thinking, right, perhaps we're not quite as good as I thought we were after we'd been on the, the run here where we had loads of wins and things like that. So I thought, oh, maybe we're not quite invincible. Um, but after that, we've actually done really well. We followed the 2-0 the loss up with a 0-0 draw with Wimbledon. Uh, it was a game that we were on top of, but we just couldn't quite break the deadlock. We then played Oxford in perhaps the worst first half performance I've ever seen, but the best second half performance I've ever seen. So the first half was awful. We went 3-0 down uh, at half time. Really, really bad. Half time though, we gave them the hairdryer treatment, changed formation, and came back to score four goals to win that game 4-3 with um, Elliot Whitehouse getting two of those. 85th minute was the winner. So that was a pretty decent result. We held on for the last five minutes and, and that was that. So a great win there. Uh, we then followed up though with a 0-0 draw with Shrewsbury who were quite far down the table. So I was a bit disappointed with that. But, you know, after that 4-3 win, I couldn't really complain too much about that. We then were at home to Charlton with a 3-0 win. That was fantastic. We then played Walsall with a 3-0 win. Uh, Walsall had a penalty uh, saved. I think they had, a, well, they had a penalty. We saved it uh, at some point, and I thought that was going to be it, one all. But then we saved it. I thought it was going to be 1-0, and then suddenly right at the end we got two goals. So a nice performance there from the boys. And then we've just played Norwich in the FA Cup third round. Uh, two all there. We got a penalty, and Ambrose scored right at the end. And uh, we got very, very unlucky conceding in the 92nd minute. It's a game we could have won that, actually. Norwich were the better side, but we just made better use of our chances, really. So that was that. What this means then is that we are now sitting just a point outside of the playoffs, if you can believe that or not. After the first few episodes of the series, when we just were down languishing in the relegation zone, we're now sitting a point outside the uh, the relegation. We're now sitting a point outside the playoffs. Uh, Eleven goal difference, which is fantastic, uh, on a great run of form as well. Some of these, t in fact, we are probably one of the most informed sides in the league, third most informed side in the league. So. That is fantastic, and the only teams that are higher than us in form tables are Burton and Portsmouth in first and second, so there we go. Now you're asking me, like, how has this changed, Tom? What has happened to make this change? And I think there's a few factors involved here that, you know, have allowed this to happen. First of all, number one is luck. To put it simply, luck is, has helped us a lot here. Obviously, it was a lot of luck in this game to come back after 3-0 down. We had a lot of luck against, against Walsall, for example, things like that. You know, we had luck on our side. Perhaps the luck went away in the Norwich game when we conceded the 92nd minute, but... Luck has been on our side. And then I think another reason is the tactics we're using now. Uh, we covered it last episode, really. But we keep switching games. Like, it's roughly like one game on, one game off using this tactic. And then the next game we'll switch to this tactic. And then the next game afterwards we'll switch back to this. And essentially, essentially I think it's because Raggett and Bostwick, Woodyard and Byers, they're used every single game, game in, game out. Other than that, every other player is rotated, essentially. Um, Mills actually perhaps not so much and Ambrose technically not so much but a core majority of the squad can be rotated each game so when we play like this we've got a back four Fools and, and Mills as that, that back line there uh, McCasey comes into that CDM Byers and, and Woodyard always there but then Bars and Anderson aren't played uh, and Ambrose technically can't be played or can be played in the other formation what I mean by that is um, if we switch to the other one wingers are now taken out so Bars and Anderson get a rest uh, Fools can't play wing back, so Garmson comes in. Mills actually does play there quite a lot, but Dickey can sometimes come across and play right back as well. We get another defender in there, so that sort of rotates things, keeps some players fresh. We play an attacking midfielder in this position as well, which means that uh, Whitehouse comes in and things like that, so he gets to play games and he gets off games as well, so he's rested as well. And then strikers, we've got three strikers, so we can rotate these guys quite a lot, so uh, Ambrose doesn't have to play every game, so he can stay fit as well. So we only have to keep four, if you include Ted Smith, I suppose, five, or, or Mills as well, six. But half of our squad can be rotated and I think that means we're so well rested and rotated it means that when we come out against other teams we're just fitter than them we're just better fitter we can do a lot more than them which is one thing and then of course we're playing on a counter formation so we're sitting back letting them do the work and then we're getting forward so that essentially saves us energy they're tiring out and then we play on a structured as well so we're not particularly moving around all that much we're staying put not wasting energy and things like that so I think that is the reason we're saving energy we're doing things our way playing our way and that's what seems to work for us right now. So whatever whatever's happened, that's what I think it is. It could be something completely different. I don't know. 
but that's just what I think it is. Anyway, this is the lineup for today's game against Nottingham Forest. Uh, Nottingham Forest sitting down quite fast. So we thought we'd use this more slightly attacking formation today. Uh, Smith in goal, Ted Smith, he is prevailing to be the better goalkeeper of the two of him and Lumley. So Ted Smith keeps his starting position today. Fools, Raggett, Boswick and Mills make that back line. Um, as you can see, also the links between the players starting to form quite nicely. So that's probably helping us as well. The links and the players are getting more used to each other. The case he comes in as that CDM with uh, just behind Woodyard and Byers as a uh, Carrillo and deep line playmaker. Bars, who's come back from an injury, he should be okay for this game. He's got, he's like strained his abs or something like that. He should be back in five days, but we'll, we'll take the risk this game anyway, at least. Um, Anderson on that right hand side and then Ambrose starting as a poach up front today. So obviously a win here today could take us into the playoffs. So we want to have a good team talk. Um, I'm not going to sell it to move into the playoffs because that will just ruin them. So I'm going to say something like, we've been on a good run lately, go out there and impress me. That should keep morale going. Some people seem motivated by that, so that's quite nice to see. Um, and hopefully that just keeps it going. Now it's a bit interesting here because, you know, um, Chase Dingleheimer, obviously. If you don't know Chase Dingleheimer, he's the water boy at the club now. Um, if you don't know him, he was a news presenter on uh, US Soccer News Federation Association, something like that. He got sacked, though, with a bad interview with me. He, had a, he did an interview with me, and he was really bad, which got him sacked, so he came to me for, for a job. So he's now the water boy at Lincoln City. However, he's just not here. And I'm getting concerned because our boys aren't going to get any water at half-time. He has all the water bottles, and he has the water. We don't have any of that. He keeps it all, so he's not here, which I'm a bit worried about. So I'm going to have to give him a ring in a minute if he doesn't turn up. Anderson's free kick into the area then, headed by Bostwick. And Bostwick makes it 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. Nottingham, what am I saying? Makes it 1-0 to Lincoln City. I was looking at the name Nottingham Forest at the time. Makes it 1-0 to Lincoln. And that's moved up to fifth in the table. Can you bloody believe that? Is this a, is, is this a replay? No, oh, I thought it was a replay then. I thought it could be a... I wasn't quite sure. But it's a penalty now as Anderson has brought down in the area. And now we've got a chance to make it 2-0 within 10 minutes. This is incredible. Who's taken up? Thierry Ambrose steps up to take it. A fantastic striker for this season. I really want to try and get him signed up for next season. Uh, he's on loan from Man City at the moment. He's got a lot of potential. And he's got potential to score goals like that. 2-0 now to Lincoln. He's 13th of the season. We're off to an absolute fly here at Forest. Of course, earlier on in the season, we played Forest and we beat them 4-0 at home, which was great. We lost to them in the Czech Trade Trophy. That doesn't matter too much. We beat them 4-0 in the league. Can we do that again? Because if we do, that would be incredible. We've just given the ball away there to Jake Vokins. McKay comes forward, has a shot just wide the post. But the main thing is we're still on top. Ted Smith with a goal kick now. Um, what awful distribution that is. I mean, he literally aimed for their player, I reckon, there. And now Forrest have a chance to come forward. Vokins on the ball again. He's a player that I like to sign as well. He always turns out quite good. He's a, a Southampton youth guy, isn't he? I think he's on loan at Forest right now, but I'd like to try and get him signed up for the future. Uh, Forest come forward, though. A lovely little cross, worked ball, and Cummings is there to put it in the back of the net. 2-1, but I'm remaining hopeful. Woodyard on the ball then. We try and launch another attack forward. A great ball through to Milan Bars, who gets fouled in the area again. It's another penalty to us. Ambrose with a chance to make it two from the spot for him and three in total for us in the game. Ambrose stepping up now. Which way is he going to go? He's only going to put it exactly where he put his last one and makes it 3-1 to Lincoln. His 14th of the season this time. 20 minutes into this game. It's amazing. However, Chase is still not here with the water, which I'm finding a little bit frustrating. I'm going to give him a little ring now. Um, see what's going on with him. Chase, how you doing, mate? Hello? Where's the water? Yeah, I'm in bed. What do you mean you're in bed? I mean there's a game today. Yeah, we've got a game tonight. Oh, God, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming as fast as I can, I, I promise. What do you, oh my goodness, Chase, what are you doing? Get to here as quick as you can now. Jesus Christ, I can't believe that. I actually cannot believe that. He's in bed. He's not here at the stadium, but he's in bed. Ha oh my goodness me, he's not going to be here for half time. What is he playing at? I can't believe this. I, I He's going to have to save his bacon somehow. If he turns up to this game, that's him saving his bacon. If he doesn't turn up, I'm going to have to have a meeting with him about sacking him. Jeez. Forrest trying to work a ball forward now, but the last ball into the area doesn't quite work. Mills managed to get it clear. And now Milan Bars plays through Ambrose. Ambrose now on his hat-trick, has a shot, but puts it over the bar. What an interesting first half this has been. This has been incredible. I, 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 I can't believe it. Well, he didn't make it for half-time. Uh, the half-time whistle started and he's still not here. I mean, it's just unprofessional from him. It's just unprofessional. I'll give him another ring. Yeah, Chase, where are you, mate? Yeah, I, I really can't find the stadium. This is not going well. Hello? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm, um, I'm sure I'm not far away. Just, I'll, I'll be there soon, I promise, I promise. Well, you, you better hurry up, all right? You better hurry up, or there's going to be trouble. Ted Smith's free kick, played all the way up to the, uh, to Ambrose. It somehow got there, and Ambrose is through, and he's, oh, he's only gone and messed it up. He could have put the game beyond all doubt there, and yet he's fluffed it. Whitehouse on the ball, trying to drive himself forward, placed it Anderson, not the best pass in the world, and he gets tackled, actually, Anderson. That was a poor pass from uh, from, from Whitehouse, who have been honest there. But we've retained possession, though. Mills has managed to get back and, and win the ball. McCasey now plays a nice ball to Ambrose, who's in space. He plays a great ball up to Barnes. Barnes just puts it wide of the mark. We're getting so many chances of this game. I'm, I'm so impressed with the way we've been playing. This is fantastic. And there we go. Forest 1, Lincoln 3. What a result. I reckon that does actually put us in the playoffs as well. I haven't quite checked the table um, passionately, though. Very happy with that. We were in the playoffs going into this game as it was finishing up. I don't know if the results changed at all towards the end of that. But as things stand, I reckon we're in, the, we're in the playoffs by a point as well. Pretty decent goal difference as well. I can't believe that. From where we've come at the start of the season, we were sitting 22nd at some point, maybe in 23rd, to now sitting in the playoffs. Jeez, what 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 a team. What a team we are. Oh, look, there it is. That's where I'm meant to be, but the stadium's empty now. The game's finished. This is not good for me. I'm going to get fired again. Bristol City in a few days' time, though, that is a different kettle of fish. That's going to be a tough game. They are sitting third in the league at the moment, and they are a much better side than us. So if anyone's going to undo us, it's going to be them. Louis Coyle is a player that we're, we, we've put a bid in for, essentially. Um, he's a championship quality right back and wing back who's listed for sale at Leeds. He's not wanted at Leeds for whatever reason. So we've put bids in for him. He's, we've had a contract to him. He's accepted our contract. It's just that teams like Derby are also bidding for him. Um, in fact, we can probably see on here, uh, transfer status. Bolton and Derby have also put transfer offers in for him. Uh, Bolton and Derby, both in the league above us. So if he's going to go anywhere, it's going to be those two. I don't, I don't really hold out much hope for us, uh, if I'm being honest with you there. I mean, we're in January now. I should probably talk about transfers, but there's, there's not too much I'm going to do. Every single player that we've got starting in the starting 11, uh, Bar Dicky, perhaps. I think Dicky may not quite be there, but everyone is a League One quality player of some sort. And as we're sitting sixth in the league right now, we don't particularly need to change a winning team too much. I'm not too fussed about transfers right now, but who knows? You know, things could change. But right now, I'm happy with the team and how it's going. Right, we've moved on to the the Bristol City game now. We're switching up the formation again to the 5-2-1-2 formation that we've got. So Raggett, Dickey and Bostwick uh, starting that back line, all with nice little links between them all. Garmton and Mills as those wing-backs. Byers and Woodyard in the middle. As I said, you know, Raggett, Bostwick, Byers, Woodyard. The only players that sort of stay constant. Mills is also there as well, so Smith. But we ignore those. And then a completely new front three with Whitehouse, Barnes and Pogba starting today. Uh, Ambrose can have a little rest on the bench today, since, you know, just because he played so well last game. So if any team's going to beat Bristol City, this is the team that's going to do it. It. fingers crossed it works let's go forward for it so apparently we're first in the form table which is pretty decent to be fair uh, we're not going to say that though I think we're going to say show me what you can do to keep you, the, the run going uh, some players look switched off by that which oh ooh, I'm not sure I'm not sure I like that that's that's got me a little bit worried but there's no point now we've kicked off we're gonna have to deal with it Garmson then with the opening highlight of the game plays it through to Barnes Barnes has a shot he should have put that across Pogba and Whitehouse were there waiting. He got a bit greedy having the shot there. I'm not a fan of that, mate. Come on. Bostwick, though, has the corner now. Movement in the area. Not enough movement. Goes only as far as Whitehouse, though. Puts it into Dickey. And Dickey has managed to get it in the back of the net. Of all players, Rob Dickey is the man. And we are 1-0 up against Bristol City. We've moved up to fourth of this as well, which is phenomenal. Level on points of Bristol City. Uh, we have to score at least another five or six goals to be able to overtake them on goal difference and things like that. But... Jeez, is this, I don't understand this. We've suddenly come from nowhere to be the most informed side in the league and are now showing promotion credentials to the championship. The championship. I mean, God help us if we get to the championship. I mean, we were lucky in the fact that we had a few players uh, in the squad already who were of League One quality when we got promoted as Pogba puts the ball over the area. Pogba being one of those players. Um, of course, we had Bostwick and Woodyard. Uh, we got Raggett back on loan again. He was League One quality. So we had League One quality players last year. We had to just 
you know, develop some more players. Dickey has become a League One player to an extent, uh, as has Whitehouse. We had, you know, players that were League One potential, like Whitehouse as well. Uh, Anderson, that's what I meant to say in the first place. Anderson was also a League One quality player. So we had the foundations there to become League One, and it's just sort of worked out for us. If we get promoted to the Championship, it's only Ted Smith who's got Championship potential. Everyone else is League One at best. So, I mean, God help us if we get there. Jeez. Highlight now for Bristol by looks of things right at the end of this uh, this half now. The cross is, is blocked, but his second cross gets in, and Ted Smith has a chance to clear it now. Uh, Barnes can't quite get it, but Garmson gets there and puts it forward to Pogba. Pogba coming forward has a shot, but it's way over the bar. Not good enough, boys. So, after what was a very, very uneventful first half, we come into it 1 0 to the good, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm pleased how things are going. Keep it up, boys. People look happy with that. You know, the, the, the tactics, the team talks aren't particularly going all that well recently. We've not seen masses of green, but I suppose some green is better than no green, so we'll take that for now. It's interesting that our front men, our, our two strikers, have not played very well at all this game, actually. Um, and you can argue that our White House hasn't. In fact, you can argue that most players, apart from the defence, haven't actually played that well this game, which is something we may want to start addressing soon as we make substitutes and things like that. We'll make some changes now then, uh, 65 minutes into this game. Nothing's happened in the second half either. Uh, we're going to take Ambrose on and Pogba off, but swap Ambrose and Barnes over like that. Uh, Woodyard's not played particularly well either. He's not actually played all that well in recent games. He's just signed a new contract with us um, to stay at the club for a few more years. Uh, stupidly, I left him as key player. So he's going to get cross me when I drop him next season if we get to the if we get promoted. Uh, but Rose will come on for him, and there are changes that will make for now. I'm happy with the defence; they're all playing pretty well for me so far. So I'm not going to change that too much. So I mean, there's still yet to be a highlight in the second half, and there's 15 minutes left to go, which I'm fine with. You know, we've gone one up. I'm absolutely fine with the game just whizzing past and we getting three points like this. It just makes it a little bit boring for you. Ah, finally a highlight. 80 minutes into the game. Um, it's now looking like it's going towards Bristol City, which isn't good. They put the ball across to, to Byron. Eliasson, his shot deflected and, and cleared as far as Wood. And Garmston manages to make an interception there. If Garmston can just get it clear, or Raggett can get it clear, or Byers, if anyone can get it clear, um, which has kind of been done, Byers now on the ball. Uh, plays a nice ball to Mills in lots of space, actually, so I'm happy with that. He gives the ball away straight away, though. And Reed gets around the goalkeeper, and oh my goodness gracious me, has missed it. This is what I mean. I'm talk we're talking about luck in this. You know, I've mentioned luck this episode quite a bit. And that is exactly what I mean. We've just managed to have good luck. You know, he should have buried that. He had all the time in the world to compose himself after he got past Ted Smith. And yet he blasted it wide. Or onto the post and wide. But, you know, same thing. With five seconds to go then, I reckon we have beaten Bristol City. They've come forward. Reed gets his cross in. But again, he's put it wide of the mark. Um, or the cross, not really a shot. So either way, it was wide of the mark. And we've won the game 1-0. We are absolutely unstoppable right now. We are coasting through this league. I am absolutely delighted with this. Passionately, that is a fantastic win for us. And where does that put us? Does that put us fourth in the league now? Is that where it put us? Or does someone get... You know, I don't know. I'm watching the table too much, actually, if I'm honest with you. Where does that put us in the league? It puts us fifth in the league. 49 points. Two points clear of Coventry in seventh. I'm just... I just can't quite believe this is happening. Like I said at the start of the season, you know, avoid relegation. I think we're bottom half this season. We're currently fifth. And of course, the target was 50 points. You know, 50 points of safety. We're on 49 now, 27 games of the season. There is no way we're getting relegated this season. And if I'm being honest with you, you know, playoffs, are not impossible. Not impossible. Right, well, thank you very much for watching today's episode. It has been absolutely fantastic. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like on the video to show your support for the channel. Remember, we've got a likes target of 60 this week if you want a bonus episode at the weekend. I hope you get that because I want to keep playing on and recording more episodes and just getting through this because I'm having an absolute blast right now playing like this. So please try and get that like target for me, if anyone else, just for me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well for plenty more Football Manager 2018 content. And I'll see you tomorrow for more Lincoln City Loco.